Good morning, world. Good morning. Thanks for enjoying us for another music reaction. Did you say thanks for enjoying us? Okay, let's start over again. <laughs> okay, let's open it again. I want to leave that. No. Let's Ready? start over again. Okay. <laughs> wow. Good morning, world. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for another music reaction. Uh, this comes from our friend Emily again. Emily has access to my Instagram account, so she just floods it all the time. Stalker. Yes, but I love it. I mean, love it. I love it. This is from uh, our main man, Hi Rez. Is I was the devil. And Emily says, this may be more religious, Christian-leaning for Brian and your channel. So if that's the case, and you haven't heard this, you should definitely check out on your own. He nailed this just like Paul Harvey did years ago. Uh, Brian's open. He's open to everything. We'll I, talk about it. I hang out with this guy. And if you so. watched Superman, Tom McDonald, you know that for a fact. I'll try to I'll try to settle down for this one. <laughs> Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Rez. If I was the devil, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> Before we get started, I had a patient of mine who is from Croatia. He went to Croatia and he brought me back something. He brought me a gift. He brought me this. I can't pronounce it. It's Smokovaka or something like that. I'm not Croatian. It's a fig based liqueur. So I tasted it and I said, <laughs> What? No, yeah, it's, I been, it's it. depleted a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Whatever. <laughs> I said, mm, that's good. I go, I bet this would taste good in place of sweet vermouth in a Manhattan. So I made one. Instead of with rye, though, I used some Elijah Craig bourbon wow. and some bitters. Now, I'm not going to chill it. So to do it properly, you don't, it. don't do that. Oh, geez. Okay. So to do it properly, you put it, you chill it, and then you pour it like a Manhattan. I'm going to do a poor man's in the Cedric and Brian mug. I'm sure that's two ounces. Yes. And for those of you who want to know what I call this, I thought it'd be fitting instead of a Manhattan, I call it a Dubrovnik. Am I going to hashtag these two products? Yes, I am. <laughs> this one, you, if you find that to hashtag, you know, good on you because I can't find it. A couple of bitters. Again, this should be chilled, but. I'm very Let's low rent. Chill. While I'm doing this, Let's settle down. if you could, you could send us a tip That's to Venmo, and you can ask for any song that you want. And you know what? Instead of some of you get mad, it's like, why are you asking for money? I'm going to call this to Get Cedric to Tennessee Fund, because I'm going to be moving in two weeks, three weeks, yes. and uh, we're going to have to do some remote filming, but we need to get Cedric out there. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. I'm wearing this for our good friend Michelle. Let me taste this. She has a very special event coming up this Saturday. She's she loves this band. So that's all I'm gonna say about this. It's called Those Guys. Because remember when you would hang out with your buddies and your pals and like, hey, let's go see um, you know, those guys. I thought it was a pretty catchy name. This is her favorite band. She's got a very special event coming up this weekend. I'm just saying that because she doesn't watch our channel, and this is proof she doesn't watch our channel. So I'm gonna put it out there for her. So check out those guys. <laughs> and she should watch our channel. Yes, but she doesn't. We still consider her a friend, though. We love her. All right. You ready? Hi, Rez. If I was the devil. I Lock was the, the devil. Lock the door. Keep out the devil. Lock the door. Keep the devil in the... We all have the devil inside. The devil inside. Every Lock single one of us has the devil inside. Lock the devil. All right. Here we go. Hi, Rez. Uh, this the gonna, devil. This is going to be fast, I think. Yeah. I got the, sub, the, the closed caption on. Okay. So. Go. Have some technical difficulties. Amen. Amen. I've been lost and so afraid. Give me purpose, got my way. Amen. Amen. Help me see another day. Oh Lord, to you I pray. Amen. All right, stop that. If I was the devil, I'd hey. make kids. Come on. Again, it's not. Uh, let me try to fix this. Hold on. I'm writing my Stay notes. Stay tuned. I need to get the space bar to work. Okay. Um, so I didn't need. I took the subtitles off because the closed caption because uh, we forgot. Hi, Rez always puts the lyrics down on his videos. Okay. So we, it's going to make it easier for us. All right. 
So again, he's coming out dressed as the devil uh, with a guy sitting. Was he watching CNN? He's watching the news, <laughs> and I love how the. I shouldn't say I love it, but it's just prominent. The devil's laughing because he's like, yeah. "I got you, I got you, I got you fixated on all this junk." That's right. If I was the devil, I'd make kids question their gender, make them normalize sexual offenders. I'd make sinning seem cool and God seem like a fool and tell people his commandments are a bunch of stupid rules that are meant to be broken. The demons I've awoken would be at the award shows right out in the open. I control all celebrities and words that they've spoken. Make them think I'm God. I'm the real one that's chosen. Make them hate religion and abandon their traditions. I put hidden messaging in all the movies for the children. I would pick the worst people in the world as politicians carrying mm. out my decisions working for me on my mission cause division okay i'm gonna stop Ooh. just because i want you guys to Thank go you, watch <laughs> this go to high res's channel he always spits <laughs> common sense facts wow oh my goodness oh there's a picture of joe well, i gotta say this real quick is like he said i forgot what he said exactly but basically said the reason we sin is because we don't sin is fun it's fun. I would do wrong because if it wasn't fun, we wouldn't do it. And I, I've said this numerous times. It doesn't come to you this loud, thunderous boom. It's always that little whisper. Like, ah, you know what? Your wife's not going to find out. Well, you know, who's going to know? You worked hard. You deserve this. And uh, he's in the movies. And who was that? Was that uh, Sam Smith? Sam Smith, yeah. Yeah. It, every, every entertainer now, they think it's cool now. To have horns and blood in the background, and who was like the guy with the tennis shoes who had the the six six six, the some rapper guy, Nas, like that. Ugh, it's it's crazy. well, not only that, but I think he, I don't know if it was um, was it Nikki who did the WAP? Oh yes, something like that. Yes, um, but I don't know if this is exactly what Paul Harvey said. So those of you, you can go look up Paul Harvey because he basically said this in the seventies, I think, and. Um, he did it as a poem, and it sounds a lot like this. So I don't know if uh, High Res just took this. Uh, yeah. I, it sounds like if I was the devil was the same title. So he might have just taken this and turned it into a rap song. Right. So. In the world as politicians Carrying out my decisions Working for me on my mission Cause division in your families Normalize blasphemy Confuse the world Make them live inside a false reality Have them glued to their phones Feeling sad and alone Have them trusting Dr. Fauci And hating Robert Malone well, That answers my question This isn't Paul Harvey <laughs> This is the new version <laughs> By like, High Red 2.0 2.0 <laughs> To their phones Feeling sad and alone Have them trusting Dr. Fauci And hating Robert Malone Amen was the devil i put cheating in the movies i'd make artists praise me like sam smith and lil uzi i'd normalize being unhealthy and call it beauty i would make sure everybody knew me and pursued me i would make them all fight when they're about to unite make the whites hate the blacks and the blacks hate the whites kids will choose fame have them blinded by my light i will have them all thinking that the darkness seemed bright and that good seemed evil and that evil seemed right they should all feel my wrath and just laugh at god's smite infiltrate big pharma make the cure really harm you i'd control the food supply and sabotage all the farmers Woo. but i ain't the devil i'm a god-fearing man all i had to do was change the person in the mirror fam i kick satan check that out it looks like it looks like wings back there yeah yeah oh my goodness that's, <laughs> that's awesome cool. oh god I'm a God-fearing man. All I had to do was change the person in the mirror, fam. I kick Satan out the car. I know God's steering, man. Every single time I pray, I know God hear it, man. Amen. Amen. What's up? Thank you for watching that video. I appreciate all the support. As usual, the merch always sells <laughs> out. We have a brand a new piece right now. <laughs> so you've seen those shirts that says, uh, Satan respects your pronouns and Satan's my Lord and Savior. Well, I made one. Satan's a bitch. Go ahead and hit the description box down below and grab yourself a t-shirt today before they sell out. I appreciate y'all. Peace.
Oh, God. For those of you who don't know, he used to do the taxi cab rapping, or yes. the driver rapping. So he would, it was like an Uber driver, and then he would just ask people a, a, a subject, and he would just rap on it really good. And that's how he kind of started. But, man, he's underrated because yeah, he the lyrics that he has every time never disappoints. Yeah. Never real, disappoint. Real quick, I just want to say, I'm going to disagree with you. One thing that High Ren says, I'm going to disagree with you, High Ren, if you're watching. High Rez. High Rez. Mm -hmm. I, I combined two artists Ren. in yes, High Rez. High Rez. And you said, Satan is a bitch. That's an insult to bitches everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a bitch in some respect. He's, he's, he is worse than that, but I'm buying one of those shirts. And it uh, talks about that. You in, better wear in, it here. In, I, I will. In the good books, I'm like, we've gotten to the point now where right is wrong and wrong is right. We were, and we can't. If you go back to my last video, and we can't decide who's morally right in certain circumstances. Right. That's right. I'll just leave it there. It's the the gender confusion and the mutilation of little boys and little girls. And every time you speak out on it, and the the body positivity of people who are drastically obese, and any time you speak out on it, you're 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 body shaming or you're transphobic or uh, it, 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 they create these new words for stuff to make you feel ashamed to speak out on what's wrong it's crazy uh. so i want to know who's saying um i don't think he used to have uh levy um God, i can't remember his first name you guys are going to help me out uh used to sing with him all the time i can't remember levy's first name i think he just went by levy didn't he no it was, he had a first name. <laughs> anyways you guys yelling at the screen right now emily um, I want to know, because it didn't sound like him, who is singing the chorus on this. Because I don't think Irez does the singing. He just does the rapping. But I could be wrong. But um, I didn't see anything in the... It might be in the description. But you guys let us know. And I got to show this real quick. I'm, I'm not looking at my phone for This stuff. is good. It's, if you guys can I find saw... Fig Liqueur, make a Manhattan out of it. <laughs> was this. He talked about the breakdown of the family. And we talked about that years ago with BLM. And they made no bones about it, that they were a Marxist organization and their job was to destroy the nuclear family, the Western nuclear family. Because once you destroy the family, now you, now, now you got us. Now you can destroy everything. And I was at a church this morning and I saw this. I'm going to share it with you. So Brian's going to have to post it now. And this piggybacks on what um, Matthew Perry said from uh, the sitcom Friends. And he said when he was feeling down one day and he wanted to make it, he got on his knees and he prayed to God. He said, God just make me famous mm. that's all i want i just want to be famous and what's the old saying be careful what you ask for yeah what you, you just for. might yeah. get it yeah and so he, he got that he got fame and abundance friends is one of the highest rated sitcoms ever in the history of tv dumb but uh jim carrey he said i think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so that they can see that it's not the answer mm. he mm -hmm. said that and then this other quote from uh warren wiersbe says when the child of God is in the will of God, all the universe works for him. But when the child of God is out of the will of God, everything works against him. And now me being the religious guy, does that say, well, you give your life to God, everything in your life will go perfect? No, <laughs> it will not. You're going to have trials, you're going to have tribulations, things are going to come into your life. But things will be a lot better off than if you follow the world and Sam Smith and and all these other satanic worshipers, if you, if you go that route, things are definitely going to go south. For and you. we know the happiness meter, the, 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 the uh, polls that say how unhappy society is, especially in this country, which has the most abundance, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't make you happy. Obviously, Matthew Perry was a, a good example of that. Um, I also wanted to point out, uh, when you mentioned BLM, so it just strike my memory, the similarity I see of the protests going on right now the parallel yeah how they have the antifa with them also yeah. so it just lets you know uh where your moral compass is it's what we talked about three years ago with blm it's just like it, it's like cedric would say duh of course who says black lives don't matter so what you know why are they making a make whole movement out of this obviously we know why it helps create division and who is blm supporting in this whole battle exactly no i know I'm saying BLM supporting someone, you might want to check and say, oh, what are they really all about if BLM is is, uh, is supporting them? Yeah, it's just, um, and, and Cedric and I, it's funny how the timing works. We said, oh, BLM is probably going to show its head again because we have a big election coming up. And guess what? They found, they found their cause again. Let's support, <laughs> like they put on their flag, they put the guy in the hang gliding thing going in and massacring people. That's, that's who they're supporting. So, uh, you know, no, no divide there.
Yes. Oh, that was good. Emily didn't know what to expect from this one. We didn't know what to expect and from Emily, I, I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, no. Why wouldn't I like this? Why are you calling see, me out? See, Emily, now he's in his fields. Really? Now I got to deal with this. Really? We'll, we'll pour I, some more. I think she's saying she thinks I'm the Satan so that I wouldn't like this. Emily, I'm, I'm very disappointed. That's all right. Keep speaking your truth, Emily. I can't believe I just said that. Your truth. Your truth. Wow. Speak your truth. <laughs> anyway, thanks for uh, recommending that. Hope you guys uh, go check that out. Like, like we always say when we do music uh, videos, we appreciate you guys watching us, but go to his YouTube channel. Yes, support whatever him. Whatever platform he does, and make sure you support him in that way as well. Yes. All right, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell, and keep sharing our channel with everyone you know. Go check out those guys. Quick little plug for them. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> and until <laughs> next time. I have to make a new shirt. <laughs> next time, stay on this straight and narrow. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>